Hello everyone and welcome back to Five Nights of Flirting. Now if you guys are wondering why I'm in a suit, well it's cause today we're gonna be raising up the rest of the people in Five Nights of Flirting. So for the first night, we are going to be spending some time with Mike cause who doesn't love a little bit of Michael left in action? I mean, heck, I mean we already risked off his daddy oh. Shouldn't, shouldn't be a problem to date like Mike too. <laughs> All right. Mike? Don't see Freddy Fast Freck and his friends anywhere nearby yet. Spending the night in here, huh? It's probably the safest place. Really? Actually, this place is probably the worst. If you're in here, you have to play their game. And that is a whole nother ball game. Who is that on the door? Move! 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 Freaking animatronics. Damn it! Got me pretty good last Friday. Stop looking at me like that. I'm not gonna take the night off. And I don't need the guys wanting about how bad it looks either. Besides, if I take the night off, then they'll have to play the game. See, whoever's in this room is a chosen player for their sick, twisted little game. Which means you pick the worst room in the building. Today isn't so bad since it's early in the week. But you probably sit with the other guys later on. Yeah, I'm gonna be the guy who sits in here and deal with the fast freight crew. Hey, what's with that look? Why are you smiling at me like that? You think it's cause I'm worried about the other guys, don't you? Nah, I just like screw the animatronics. The look on their faces when I slam the door on their faces is priceless. <laughs> the night is almost over. Get ready to leave. We'll see you tomorrow, if you don't die. Yay! Your first night has ended. Time to go home and sleep for the day. Laying in bed, you think about the events of the day. Mike is very commanding, but it does seem to care. It might be a good idea to give him some space, but ask more questions for my survival. You went to bed for the night. Wait, so you're telling me that if I spend my nights with Mike, I'll be able to spend my nights with the animatronics too? Oh my god, it sounds amazing. Oh, hell yeah. I figure it might be a good idea to read some of the files uh, as we go along as well. Hey, there's my file. Uh, H blank, height blank, weight blank. Background. Recently moved into town, out of state. May keep them around if they go to do a good job. Had a great record. Night shift. Alright. There's Mike's file. 28, 5'9", 210 pounds. Says he lives with his parents and works to better himself as a person. Good work ethics, bad attitude, past head trauma, night shift. Ugh. Prince's file. 23, 4 foot 9, 200 pounds. Lives alone, has a love for cooking. Maybe we could convince him to switch to kitchen duty instead. Day shift. Yeah, right? A an old file. 32, 7 foot, 250 pounds. Father Barbie used to own the building of Fast Bear Incorporated for this area. Deceased. What? You tell me that's lore. Wait, wait, I, I know it's lore, but I I want to know what's the lore of this fan game where you're supposed to riz up all the security guards and Barbie. And apparently the janitor. Like, heck, if, if there's any game out there where I could get down and frisky with the janitor, I'm down. I am more than down. It's almost midnight. I should decide who I'm spending the night with. Uh, I'm gonna be spending with Mike again, because I love Mike. Like, not as much as I love Vincent, but still. You're here again, huh? Guess I misjudge you. Those animatronics are known to scare off a lot of the maintenance workers after the first night. So, what are you here for anyway? You know the job is dangerous, but you came back for a second night of hell? Isn't one night enough for you? I really need the money. I should ask you the same thing. Touche. Damn chicken. Get lost, you Looney Tune wannabe! My parents, they're... They're old. My mom's a lawyer. My dad's a surgeon. Actually, he's the same person that... Mike shakes his head before stopping and looking at you. Anyway, they're a lot more successful than I can ever hope to be. And I'm not gonna be that bratty kid that sits back on the couch, living off of mom and dad's money. They raised me better. I can't even focus long enough to get to a freaking college class course. Not to mention every job I tried to have up till this point fired me for misconduct. This... This is the only place they'll accept me. I'm stuck here, is what it boils down to. <sighs> Look, I'm only gonna tell you one more time. Get out of here. 
get lost. Got a better life ahead of you rather than risk your life for ungrateful fricks like me, okay? So scram! Boss can find a different worthless fricker who deserves to rot in here instead. But I want to be here and take care of you. I. <laughs> I just made Mike Schmidt blush. What the frick? His mouth opens and closes as if his brain has short circuit. <laughs> Don't say stuff like that to a guy. Uh, make him think things. Well, it's about that time again. Better, uh. Pack up your things and get ready to go home. Hey, uh, I'll buy a walk you home, okay, dollface? Mike's welcoming me home. Nice. Mike seems to have nothing but troubles on his shoulders. Tomorrow's another day. Yep, it's day three, and this is the only time I get to actually pick up what I actually left behind. Because apparently I left out like a bunch of papers or something to get his like romance ending. Okay, so no one told me about this. No one told me that I was supposed to pick up these papers. I didn't even notice that they were here. What are these? You found a newspaper article. The bite. Is this the bite of 87? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to. I had to throw in the Markiplier like, um, like um, reference. I guess. I'm always so happy to see you. Well, it's good to hear. Anyway, Vinny's file. Age 38, 6'3, 190 pounds. Choose to work here, daughter die in the 87 disappearance. Kind of twitchy, keep an eye on him, night shift. Scott's file. 48, 6'10, 180 pounds. Ask back top bills to the company. Should take him another five years till it's paid off. Good worker, extend contract, possible day shift. Jeremy's file. He's 19? What the frick? Has home issues if the bruises say anything. Good kid. Expect to keep him around as long as possible. Night shift. Barbie's file. 26, 5'1, 150 pounds. My daughter. Hopefully it will run a company as well as I have. I have high expectations for her. Currently work as my executive manager. Nice. Also, if you're wondering what's uh Mike's second item, it's apparently like it's apparently the pirate hook uh from Foxy's um from Foxy's little cave here. Like, once you pick up the dustpan, like, yeah. Um, I already picked it up in, like, the last episode, so if you haven't seen it yet, hey, you might want to go over there. All yeah, right. Wait, what? What does it say? When you and Fritz were little, you used to pretend to treasure hunt. You'd either be Foxy or Mangle, and he'd be Freddy. Ah. That's a cassette tape. I'm gonna play Exotic Butters again. Why not? Hey, hey, hey. Ah, uh, God damn it. All right. Uh, you really need to sit down and learn more about these dorks. I suppose. All right. Final night. Uh, I should decide who I'm spending the night with. Yeah, let's spend time with Mike. Yeah, I, I like Mike. Oh, well, yeah, I guess I could understand why. Out of all the other guys, I've learned to pick up on a lot of things they couldn't. So I'm still wondering why exactly you choose me. Because you're dependable. Because you said you were get. Cause you're dependable. Dependable? Maybe. I show up for work every night anyway. Now, what's more important things? We need to figure out a game plan and figure out how we're gonna fix these animatronics before Friday. You got only three days left to figure out how to fix them. After that, well, you may as well forfeit your pay, I guess. If I were you, I'd hate to be here any longer than I have to be, and I sure as hell would hate to be here for no reward in the end. In here, we are about as safe as you can be from deadly animatronics that want to kill you. All right, so, have you at least figured out which animatronic it is that needs to be repaired? If so, we can go from there. Who knows? Maybe it'll stop all the crazy from happening in the first place. You admit that you have no idea despite your best efforts. Well, that's peachy. That means we're gonna have to go out there with all the animatronics roaming around. And since it's the middle of the week, there are gonna be a bunch of freaking buttholes. So, we got one shot. We're gonna need to figure out which one it is that needs repaired, and if we don't, we're dead. So, let's find them before they find this, okay? Huh? What is it? Foxy? The one you need to fix is Foxy! I protect Mikey all this time, but even I have my limit. Who are you? Please, fix him. Fix the cars. I- No, we- We're begging him. Uh, huh? What are we waiting for? Was that a nerd? Was that a nerd? I have no idea! You tell Mikey what just happened and mention that you know which animatronic to repair now. A little girl. Ah, as crazy as it sounds, Lion, I feel like if anyone can stop this nightmare, it might just be you. 
You know, I'll always have your back, right? That no matter what gets thrown at us, I'm here for you. You feel my- OH MY GOD! <laughs> you feel Mikey's breath on your forehead as if he was hesitating to do something before either of you could react, however. No, the shift is over! Uh, sorry. I have some things to discuss with you tomorrow. For now, let's get some rest, Lion. The rest of my week will be spent with Mike. I only hope that we can figure out what's wrong and fix it for good. Save? Yeah, sure. Mike was distracted. You could tell by the look in his eyes that something was tearing him, and no matter how you tried to grasp it, it pained you to look at him. Sorry, I... I was daydreaming. You could hear the worry lazy his voice, and it only made you worry more. You needed to focus, or there was no way you'd be able to figure out how the night would play out. Damn it. Why couldn't you just leave? I don't know if you don't understand how likely it is we're going to die here, or if you just don't understand. Damn it! I don't want you to die! There was a lot of anger behind his voice, but also a hint of sadness. Let him cry him out or reassure him? Oh, you can cry. You can freaking cry. You couldn't act. You didn't have the co What do you mean I didn't have the courage? It's a good idea to just let people let it out! I mean, reassurance is great, but at the same time, sometimes people just need to let it out! <sighs> you didn't have the courage. Unfortunately, the night was wasted in the search. The silence drowned out by an angry man swallowed sobs. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think he realized you could hear him. Mike's hands are surprisingly gentle. For someone so rough, you remember this night for a long time. What did he do? What did Mike do? Hey, uh, once it's all over, I say, we go out for something. Lost the street. You appreciate the humor in Mike's voice, but you also doubt that your boss would be that free with his money. Yeah, I know. You say I got some money squirreled away. It won't be anything big, but it'll be nice. So let's hurry up and finish this. Judging by the monitor, it looks like he's in the back of the building, but we need a key to get in there. Frick, you know where it is. Oh boy. Uh, I have no clue. Where would it be? Wait, would, po would Foxy's notes like tell me where to get the key? Or would it still be in the same place as it was before? Considering, like, considering, like, uh, that's where we had to get it before. Okay, let's just check, uh, Foxy's treasure map real quick. There's something scroll on crayon. It reads, check the storage self. Yeah, it's the same, it's the same dealio as before. So, might as well just pick up the key and pop right over. Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully things go well here. Right. Uh, here it is. It's an old can on the shelf. There's a key that seems to be recently put here. It's covered in blood. You obtained a Nightwatch key. Alright, time for the romance ending with Mike Schmidt, also known as Mike Lapton, in case y'all didn't, like, catch on to that. Okay, uh, it's a stand of vendors with sell dolls and give tickets out during the day. Uh, the gate through is currently locked. Recall you have a key, they may just work. As you turn the key, it's undone. However, the old key breaks and it's now useless. Hey, good work. Let's get going. Yeah, I'm doing an excellent job here. I wonder who this is gonna be. It's been so long. Da, 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 da. Finally, I can at least tell you before I die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so sorry. God. Then again, maybe I should keep it to myself. What do you mean? Would you even forgive me? How is Mike Schmidt like connected to this little girl? Before you set me free. I want to say, I'm sorry, Mike. I'm sorry we... No, oh, I treated you so badly. I got so mad and yelled at you. Maybe if I'd pay more attention to you. You wouldn't have to suffer as you had. Maybe. Foxy wouldn't have harmed you. Is she talking about the bite of 80... Is Mike the bite of 87? Uh, I don't remember much. Ugh, it makes my head hurt to think. But I do remember you. Just a little, and I forgive you. You placed the hope back on the animatronic where it belongs. Thank you so much. I know it's not much, but I'm grateful. Lion, take care of Mikey for us. We'll see you both again someday. I don't get it. Why am I crying? See you around, Ellie. What? The nightmare was over. 
A few months later, after some therapy, it was nice to be able to sit down and relax for a moment. Oh yeah, Mike did get bit. Work's been so much easier if you're around, you know that? You couldn't help but smile at the guard, his blue eyes drowning in yours. Yeah, I think we can pizza together and everything. Relax for once. There's a flicker of smile on his face. One thing I hadn't gotten to see much during your time working the first week as Mike's plentiful puns. A few months later, he was making up for it. Guess we outfoxed him, didn't we? Why? Why, Mike? You could say we were, well, God, uh, Mike! Mike, that was so bad! Are my ears ringing or are they, it was just wedding bells, huh? You listen to him rattle on with puns and quips, happy to be in your lover's arms. Congrats, you bagged yourself a security man and got the ending you deserve. Be sure to check out the other routes, see if you can figure them out. See you next time. Alright. On to flirt with Jeremy, who might also be Mike. I don't know. I, I don't know what's the actual lore behind Five Nights at Freddy's. It's been a while since I caught up. Alright, let's spend some time with Jeremy tonight. Wait, you? You really want to spend a night with me? I'm not sure why, but I won't stop you. It's better than spending the night alone. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not quite sure what to do. I'm usually stationed by myself and yeah, I'm not good with people. Maybe next time you should pick someone else. You see a child's toy and magnifying glass on the floor. Pick it up and work with it. Tell Jeremy he's doing his best. I'll pick it up and work with that. <laughs> you pick up the magnifying glass and as you do, you also steal Jeremy's hat. What? Why would you? Wait, is that a magnifying glass? It looks almost exactly like Detective Conan's from Case Closed. Maybe while the night goes on, we can roleplay and pretend like we're detectives from the show. I mean, the place is haunted. It's a big mystery surrounding the pizzeria. So maybe that's not such a good idea right now. The animatronics are running around and as much as I'd love to roleplay, it's not safe. Well, shift's almost up. Better close up and get ready to head out for the night, huh? Now that's another night guard in the bag. Your first night has ended. Time to go home and sleep for the day. Lay in bed, you think about the events of the day. Jeremy's very odd, but a timid young man. Far of you hopes that he'll open up to you sooner rather than later. You went to bed for the night. Neat. All right, let's spend night two with Jeremy. He watches Jeremy slides on a glove and reaches in to pull out a pizza. Ah, dang it! Aw, oh, you absolute sweetie. Couldn't do anything right. Can I even make a stupid pizza? Why do I even bother coming to a... Oh, yeah, that's why. Why? Why? You pull out some bandages you prepare before your shift, given how dangerous the facility is. Thanks, Lion. I burned my hand on the stove trying to get the pizza out. For some reason, I feel like the gloves are just way too thin to actually reach inside and grab anything. So they may switch out the gloves on his night guards to discourage us from eating free pizza they have in here. Oh well, it's not like I eat much anyway. I won't make you, but you should. But if you get sick, I couldn't see you! Uh, oh! <laughs> Why does Jeremy look so cute? I mean, I... We'll love to still see you here. I don't want you to worry or anything. It's just, I'm not at all hungry. You know? Yeah, I'll give this pizza to Fritz. I know he really likes pizza and it won't go to waste uh, unless you want it. I mean, if you want to share or... Hey, uh, you look very nice. Uh, you know, would you like me to walk you home? <laughs> Fritz, what the... Wait, no, that's Jeremy. Jeremy, what the frick? <sighs> Poor kid just seems so sad all the time. Tomorrow's another day. Okay, on Jeremy's route, there's supposed to be like a sparkling object on top of the box. We gotta check out what this is. There's a small hole in the box. Do you open it and you found some antidepressants? What? Why are there antidepressants in here? Huh. Uh, it's practically a full bottle of antidepressant medication. The bottle's patient name is Jeremy. What the frick? Also, I just realized that I did not actually... The report entails a missing suit and a skeleton and missing kids. Vincent has scribbled his name on it. Really? 
That's odd. That is really odd. Okay. I feel like over the course of these few nights, uh, depending on which route we're going down. Oh, the papers aren't here anymore. Like, depending on, like, whose route we goes on, like, different objects appear across the facility. That's my theory, at least. But, eh, who knows. I'll, I'll show you guys where, like, the, like, missing object is. There are supposed to be, like, two objects per character, so, yeah. Wait, I didn't realize this was a thing. You assume Vinny has been pretending to be a cat again. There are signs of someone snuggling into the box. The frick? You can't help but shake the feeling of being watched. There's a mysterious red substance that you're just gonna assume is just some weird sauce. The face would be cute if not for the gore around it. Hmm. All right. This place reeks of death. I wonder why, though. You gotta notice the blood splatter here isn't the same every night. What do you mean it's different? Do you mean the blood splatters are different every night? It's almost midnight. I should decide whom I'm spending the night with. And Jeremy, for sure. Jeremy, my boy, how are you doing? Ah, just gotta finish grabbing the rest of my... Lion, is that you? Does that mean you picked me for tonight? But why? I'm not very, I mean, I'm not brave and I'm not the best at my job. Heck, I'm not even sure I'm suited to help you out at all. I, I gotta get you to safety. Come on, to the security room. Uh. Jeremy, you seem more freaked than I am. I hate this job. I can't do it anymore. The only reason I stay here is because of my dad. It's better here than there. At least when the animatronics beat me. It's because they're stupid robots. I'm so sorry, Lion. I'm sorry. I'm done. At this rate, I'd rather just let the animatronics kill me. I don't want to be alive anymore. I want to die. Being alive is just... It hurts so much, you know? No matter where I'm at, Sassy always wants to hurt me, or kill me, or... At least if I'm dead, I won't have to feel this pain anymore. I won't have to worry about my stupid dad or where I'm going to... Jeremy sobs to your shoulders for quite a while. Please, I'll let go, Lion. You mean to... I, I don't know. I don't know. What am I doing to myself? Please just... Hold me for a while longer. Still the pain stops. Sorry you had to see the side of me, Lion. I can't help it sometimes. I found out what animatronic needs fixed. It's Chica. If you patch her up, then I think we might stand a chance of ending this nightmare for good. Please, help me. One last time. Time to go home? They really cried that whole time! I'm sorry! The rest of my week will be spent with Jeremy. I only hope we can figure out what's wrong and fix it for good. Yeah, I'm definitely saving. You're still crying? Lion? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to have you catch me cry like this. Just... It's just... I have severe depression. Sometimes it gets to me. A lot of times harder than most. It's usually when I think about losing something I really care about or when I hear something similar to a voice in my head. Tell me I'm not worth it. I try to fight it. I really do, but... These words are so hard to fight alone. I'll embrace him. I'm so sorry, Lion. Every time I think of something bad, it's happening to you. My stomach flips. I couldn't breathe and I'm just not sobbing. It's so important to me. I want to lose you. I want to become a stronger person. Not just for you, but for me. I want to be strong for both of us. It's so hard. Sometimes it's so hard I can I can't even get up in the morning. I, I take my medicine. It doesn't always help. Sometimes it gives me the strength to carry out actions I wouldn't normally have the will to do. I gotta get better. I just need to figure out how. Jeremy seems exhausted. You walk him home before heading home yourself. I'm definitely saving, for sure. When you enter the room, the atmosphere seems vastly different. Jeremy is leaned over the desk, hands planted firmly on either side of his keyboard. He's searching for any traces of the animatronics. As he turns to you, his smile seems genuine and kind. Something seems wrong here. I feel much better today. Thank you so much, Lion. Thanks for everything yesterday. Perhaps all I needed was someone to notice me. 
Someone take the time to help me out of my slum. I'm just glad that person was you. He smiled back at him and nod. Well, this is it. Let's fix the animatronic. Well, let's go then. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know where I'm supposed to go. Um, I'm pretty sure like what I'm supposed to do is like grab the key from like a top to shelf, go over to the back room and yep, like then we'll be done. This nightmare will be over for at least like this week and then we'll start all over again. And I don't even know, I don't even know like how we're just dealing with all this. Golly. Okay, let's see. Yep. Oh, God damn it, I missed his line. Ugh, you're just like a detective. Awesome. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Ugh, all right, let's see. You came. I hope you would. I would always come. You remind me of a person I knew so long ago. You mean like Mike? You mean like Mike Schmidt? He used to help me out when I needed it. You talk about Mike Schmidt, right? I was always so sad, but now... Now what? Oh, hi. I've been waiting for you to come here. To come and set me free. I'm so happy that I'll finally get to rest. The child turns towards Jeremy a moment before turning back. I remember. I'd be a close friend. He was a lot like you, Lion. He was so strong. He always took care of me when I felt bad. I got sick a lot. I needed medicine. I hated taking it. One day we got into a fight about it. I didn't want to take it and we stormed off. I should have ran after him, but I yelled back, telling him to go off to Pirate Cove and hide away like he always does. Never got to see him. You're talking about Jeremy? Did you bully Jeremy? Looking back at it, I know he only did it because he cared a lot about me, just like you care about Jeremy. I'm pretty sure the person you're talking about was Jeremy. I wanted to get better. If I can't be happy for myself, I can never hope to make Lion happy. If I want to love someone, I have to learn to love myself. I wish I could have thought the same way. The child looks at a feather in your hand. It's okay. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to sleep. Give me one last look at a child. You place a missing chunk of feathers onto Chica before backing away. Thank you so much. Bye! <laughs> hey! The tickles! You chuckle as you nuzzle him again. We better head off or we're gonna be late. I don't want to miss my therapist appointment. I feel like I've been doing so much better since I've been going and afterwards. Maybe we can go on, you know, a date? Smiled a proposition and not in agreement. Sounded like a great idea. As Jeremy threw on his jacket, you stopped and looked over your shoulder at a bottle of medicine on the table. You come a long way from the horrors of the pizzeria a mere few months ago. Perhaps in time, those wouldn't be the only nightmares you moved past. You bagged yourself a security man and got the happy ending you deserve. Be sure to check out the other routes if you can't figure them out. I get it. I get it. I'll see you in the next route. All right. Now we got to be dating the last security guard in here, which would be Fritz. So, hey, let's go check him out. Well, uh, here it is. I won. It's always really slow. I mean, I can understand if you're scared right now, but I honestly wouldn't worry about it too much. They're really sluggish early in the week. Listen. I'm gonna be blunt here. This job, it sucks, like, hardcore. I don't know what your contract says exactly, but ours say we can't leave until we either have someone take our place, our contract's up, or... Well, until we die. I know this sounds like BS, and honestly, it really is, but... From what I understand, boss never contracts someone for maintenance longer than a week. Which means you can get out of here before stuff gets start to... Before stuff starts to go down and get a whole lot worse. But hey. Do me a favor, okay? Get out of this mess while you still can. Ah, <sighs> Fritz, you know I can't do that. Look, it's not like I'm not really happy to work with you. I just... I really don't want to lose any more friends. This place is really messed up. Honestly, I only joined for the free pizza, and now I'm regretting it big time. Ah, <sighs> well, I'll give him a hug. You give Fritz a tight hug, earning a choke swallow from the other. Uh, as if suppressing a sound. <coughs> oh, golly. Lion, I'm serious. I really don't want anything bad to happen to you. So please, just take care, okay? Yay! Your first night has ended. Time to go home and sleep for the day. Laying in bed, you think about the events for today. Poor Fritz. He's really worried about you, even after all the time you've been away. 
It really is a dear, sweet friend, ain't he? He went to bed for tonight. It's another day. I should clock in and get ready for another night. It's almost midnight. I should decide who I spend the night with. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be spending more time with Fritz, cause why the heck not? I, I am determined to date the night guards in this one night! Damn bucket. Is there even one thing in this janitorial area that doesn't have holes in it? I mean, geez, I can't stand filthy rooms, and for one meant to be for cleaning supplies, it's a goddamn disaster. Uh, you okay there, friend? You seem frustrated. Very. I can't understand how this place just lets the filth pile up. I mean, look at this place! It's no wonder the animatronics want to kill everything inside. If my house looked like this, I'd be pissed off too! But I guess when you're a creator, you don't give a poo when you don't have a choice. Speaking of being stuck in here, I'm surprised to still you, you're still here. Uh, well, I couldn't very well leave my bestie behind. I was worried about you. I don't want you hurt. Yeah, I was worried about you. And you didn't think I don't want to see you safe? Ah, I told you this place is poo, but you're still here and I don't get it. My life isn't on the line as much as yours is. And now, now I gotta worry about your hide and mine. It's just it makes my job a lot harder, okay? Now I gotta stay up late at night and worry about... Listen, get off the hook just because you thought you could be cute. I've walked you home and we're having a lot... I'm walking you home, and we're having a long talk. Yay! It's an our night! As funny as it is to see Fritz gets flustered, you worry about him. Tomorrow's not a day. Well, might as well clock in and make sure that uh, Fritz doesn't get stuffed in the suit or something. Apparently, Fritz's item is in the security room for some reason. You frown as you look into the trash and grab the photo inside. You found old school photo. What? An old school photo? Uh, it's a photo of you and Fritz back when you went to school together. Fascinating. Oh wait, yeah, we were a long time, like we were friends for like the longest time before I decided to go like pound town with Fritz. Chris left a jar of pickles in a pail. Yeah. Somebody put a metal dish scrubber in one of the mouse holes. Fascinating. Well, there's a fresh coat of blood on it. Something must have happened with the day shift. Uh, several boxes with spare sponges, mob heads, and other cleaning supplies inside. Yes. All right, same dealio here. Yeah, might as well go see if there's anything else. I never really examined this cracked wall. Looks like someone violated rule four. What's rule four? No one told me what rule four was. Uh, hello? What's rule four? I, I need to know. Some used burger wrappers and soda cups down from the facility. Looks like the guards refuse to eat the food here. Looks like someone finger painted in blood. Two guesses as to whom. I'm guessing it's Mike. Um, uh, like my guess is Mike. Or probably Vince, but yeah, it's more likely that's Mike. Eh, <sighs> already read all of these. <sighs> Boys, happy to see you. Same here. Barbie's file. Yeah, we already read that just now. All right. Anything else I need to check out? I do know that I forgot to actually pick up like the knife this time around, but nah, doesn't matter. I mean, heck, I was just hoping the trash is full. Oh, I completely forgot about the tasers too. <laughs> Gosh darn it. By the way, by the way, I just want to show you guys a little something. Like I have three tongs, three oven mitts, two canes, two knives, two tasers. Why do I have these? I don't know. I don't freaking know why. <laughs> But it's great. It, it's great. Like, gotta gotta catch them all, right? I have, I have no clue. God. Oh. All right. Uh, let's see. Anything in here? Pair of underwear. You know what? Forget I. Why is there underwear in here? Feels like this is Chris making a statement. What statement? A uh, regular tampons. Okay. And let's see. It's almost mis midnight. I should decide who I'm spending nights with. It's gotta be Fritz. It's gotta be Fritz, my boy. Hey, I was hoping to see you again before I left. After all, I won't really get to see you much after it's, will I? Wait, did you pick me? I mean, yeah, I'm super happy. Uh, I just figured after you saw all the other guys, if you hung out with them, you wouldn't be interested in hanging out with me anymore. I mean, I seriously thought you might actually grow to like one of them, you know? 
Sure, they're loud and they can be obnoxious, but they're all really great guys. Even Vincent, just uh, don't tell him I told you that. Yeah, he's a great guy. Like he is, he's great. He's he's fine. And that's the signal. It's time to go to the office. Who's screaming? It's gonna start getting real crazy around here. You sure you're good to staying with me? You nod your head in agreement. All right, it's settled then. Yeah, I'll be helping you out from now on. So we got one major problem. Out of three days, you've already been here. Do you even have the slightest clue as to which animatronic needs repaired? You shake your head softly. Damn, it's too dangerous to actually leave and search for which. Ah, it's that one again! That one? Golden Freddy, the guy and me we used to thought it was just an illusion. But what if the animatronic that needs fixed isn't actually in a suit? Man, that's gonna make things a lot more difficult for you, isn't it? Oh well, we'll manage. We always have, even back in school. Don't worry, I've got your back, Lion. I always have, and I forever will. Ah, that's sweet. Looks like we've got a bear hunt tomorrow. Golden Freddy. Sure, why not? Why don't we hunt the big bear? Yeah? Oh, hey, Lion, I was just thinking about you. I was thinking about when we were in school and how much I missed those days. It was so much easier than working here. We were inseparable then. And after so many years, you finally came back, you know? And now you're in trouble, all because of a stupid wish. A, a wish? I wish you'd come back so I could tell you all the things I never did. You know, I was never interested in adult fun times or physical contact, but whenever you held my hand or even gave me a hug, I always felt so warm. Yeah, I'm still not interested in any of that, but I still want to be of you. If you don't mind how distant I can be. Ah, Princess Ace! He gave a smile and hugged Fritz tightly, receiving a kiss on her cheek in return. I may not do this often, but I promise. When I do it, I mean it. Ah, Fritz is dependable. You know that. And knowing he's always at your side makes it all the more sweet. Safe? Yeah, sure, why not? Like, let's say before, like, we got ourselves bound down by the animatronics. I got some good news. Man, you track down where Fuzzy Compadre is. And he's in the back of the store. Now, all we need to do is find the key, which, if my memory serves right, it'll be over by the storage area. I don't know where, though. Fritz looks over at you, a smile crossing his lips. Let's finish this. All right, Fritz. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, nab the key. Also, anything to say about this? You swear there's blood in the walls. But that's just crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. I'm not going down that route again. I've already done that bit before. Okay, let's see. Time to get the oil cannon. What's in there? What's in there a window here? You can see one of your friends outside petting the cat, but you're not sure whom it is. Uh, was this blood here earlier? What's in there a window here? It's so weird. Because uh, I swear, we, we, we did see a window before, right? Yeah, I don't even recall. Should we get on the stage? Yay! All right, out of the animatronics are just futzing about. It's probably a good idea to just dance on the stage. All right, let's go through. Yep, turn the key. I could expect no less from you. All right, let's go speak to the ghost child. It's scary to be alone without a person you care most about. All right. What would you do if you made a mistake? Cry about it? Seize? Cope? And hurt the person you love most. I don't know, apologize? I'm scared he'll hate me forever. Just talk to him then! I know you probably have anxiety or something, but still. You've come to help me go sleep, aren't you? I'm so very tired. I was hoping we have a way to fix you, but there's honestly nothing I can think of that'll fix you. You don't actually have a suit. You're just a ghost. You frown as you nod your head, look at the sad look at Fritz's face. I want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for yelling at my friend. I'm sorry for making him sad. I'm sorry for getting him hurt. I never got to tell him that I liked him, that I think I really, really liked him. He was my best friend and now I'll never see him again. I tried to keep him safe for so long, for so many nights. There were times where I couldn't even move the next time. There were times where I couldn't even move the next day because... I try so hard to keep him safe. You could tell him. If you could tell him. Tell him I'm sorry. Please. Fritz's face is contorted in a pain understanding as he nods to the ghost. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Knowing that, I think I can finally go to sleep. Goodbye. And thank you again. Bye! God dang it, lion! I'm trying to make you some dinner! Keep surprising me like that and I'll burn it or cut myself. He chuckled a bit as he leaned over the counter and matched what he's doing. The relationship is almost the same as it always was. Only. He'll be married in a few months. Am I really marrying all the security guards? Gosh darn. Congrats, you back yourself a security man and got the happy ending you deserve. Be sure to check out the other routes, you can figure them out. See you next time, bye! Anyway, that's all the time I have for today's episode. I've actually been recording for over an hour, but because I have to play through the whole game over and over just to get all these endings, like, it takes a bit longer. But anyway, we will be back with the rest of the routes as well as the true ending. So hey, stick around for that. But anyway, thank you all so much for coming. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. And as always, I'll be seeing you! in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.